What if I told you that a single strawberry, little more than a few grams of sweetness, touches the lives of millions of farmers, scientists, and chefs worldwide? Welcome to Agri360X, where we peel back the layers of everyday foods. In 2023, global strawberry production surpassed 10 million metric tons, generating $17 billion in farm gate value. California alone produced 1.5 million tons, fueling nearly 90% of U.S. domestic supply. Yet few know the complex journey from blossom to berry to supermarket bin. Today, we'll traverse sun-dappled fields in California's Salinas Valley, explore high-tech greenhouses in the Netherlands, and step into packing sheds that blast cookies crumb chills at 1 degree C to extend shelf life to 21 days. By the end, you'll understand why the delicate strawberry remains one of agriculture's biggest marvels. If you crave the hidden stories behind your favorite flavors, hit like, drop a comment, and subscribe to Agri360X. We publish Monday Friday at 7 a.m. and 7 p.m., with weekend specials at noon. Strawberries, Fragaria x ananasa, trace their lineage to wild species in North America and Europe. First domesticated in 18th century France by crossing Fragaria virginiana, eastern U.S., with Fragaria kiloensis, Chile, breeders produced larger, more flavorful berries. Today, over 50 cultivars cater to diverse climates and markets. California's flagship variety, Albion, thrives in coastal fog, offering 20% higher sugar content. In Florida, heat-tolerant Camarosa yields year-round. Meanwhile, Europe favors El Santa and Sonata for firmness during long transport to Russia and Scandinavia. The Netherlands pioneered day-neutral ever-bearing types that flower under 12 to 16 hours of daylight, enabling two to three generations per year in climate-controlled greenhouses. Genetic mapping now identifies flavor genes, helping breeders stack sweetness, aroma, and disease resistance into new superberries. Understanding these varieties lets us appreciate how genetics and local conditions shape the strawberry's journey and taste. Strawberries demand precise conditions, pH 5.56.5 soil, 800 to 1000 mm annual rainfall or drip irrigation, and daytime temperatures of 20 to 25 degrees Celsius. In California's central coast, farmers use GPS-guided tractors to bed plastic mulch rows, elevating berries above cold soil and suppressing weeds. Sensors buried at 15 cm depth monitor moisture. When soil falls below 40% field capacity, drip lines deliver exactly 5 mm of water per hour, conserving 30% compared to overhead sprinklers. Belgian and Dutch growers pioneered vertical hydroponic towers, stacking up to five layers of strawberry plants in greenhouses. Under LED lights set to 650 nm red and 450 nm blue. Yields jump from 20 tons hay outdoor to 80 tons haw indoor. But smallholders in Mexico still rely on hand mulching straw and watering cans, preserving heirloom flavors. The intersection of traditional care and high-tech inputs, drones for pest scouting, AI for yield prediction, defines global strawberry success. Strawberries face threats. Two spotted spider mites, Botrytis cinerea, gray mold, and verticillium wilt can slash yields by 30-50% if unchecked. In Florida, growers spray spinosad and benthia valicarb on a 7-10 to 10 day schedule to control mites and fungal spores. California integrates biological controls, releasing predatory mites, Phytocellulus persimilis, to cut spider mite populations by 90% within two weeks. European greenhouses employ ultraviolet LEDs at 385 nelisonorus for 5 seconds daily, inhibiting mold without harming beneficial insects. Advances in CRISPR and gene editing at UC Davis and Wageningen University aim to breed verticillium-resistant cultivars by silencing susceptibility genes. Yet smallholders still rely on mulching with ash and diatomaceous earth, ancient tactics that discourage slugs and beetles. Balancing chemical, biological, and cultural controls ensures a steady flow of berries to market. Strawberries must be picked at the breaker stage, just beginning to show color, so they ripen uniformly during transport. In California, 15,000 seasonal workers descend upon Salinas Valley each April-June, each picker-picker-picker averaging $3-$4 for every 12.5 kilos carton. An experienced worker can harvest 350 cartons day, earning $100, $120 in 8 hours. In Spain's Huelva region, mechanized harvesters with vibratory pickers gently shake vines, collecting 2 tons hour, but requiring manual sorting afterward. Timing is critical. 
once fully red, a berry's bricks, sugar, spikes from 6 degrees to 10 degrees within 24 hours, moving from mild tartness to peak sweetness. In Florida, where harvesting can last almost year-round, robotic harvesters using machine vision can identify ripe berries with 95% accuracy, though they still face challenges distinguishing between red fruit and leaf debris. Harvest efficiency determines shelf life and final price. Post-harvest, strawberries race to packing houses. Conveyor belts carry crates to high-speed optical sorters that reject undersized or bruised berries in milliseconds. Next, fruit enters hydro coolers, where zero degree water flushes field heat, dropping berry core temps from 32 degrees to 5 degrees within 10 minutes, crucial to prevent decay. On average, up to 30% of strawberries are rejected at sorting for cosmetic reasons, yet these imperfect berries often feed local processors or become frozen products. In California, 90% of major shippers, like Driscoll's and Berry Fresh, use cold chain protocols that maintain 1-2 degree C in transport, extending shelf life from 3 days, ambient, to 10 to 14 days refrigerated. Scandinavian producers take it further. Vacuum pack strawberries with 2% CO2 flush to inhibit microbial growth, achieving a 21-day shelf life. Proper sorting and cooling ensure that delicate berries arrive fresh, juicy, and ready for market. Strawberries are packed in clamshell containers made from petty or recyclable fiber pulp, each holding 250-500 grams. In 2023, Driscoll's shipped 500 million containers in North America alone. Barcodes and RFID tags track each pallet as it moves through distributors, Costco, Walmart, Tesco, ensuring traceability back to the specific farm and picking date. Automated robots load pallets onto trucks, where bright LED sensors monitor truck temperature and humidity in real time. During Valentine's Day season, premium ruby strawberries, pinkish mutant varieties, sell out within hours, commanding prices of $8.10 per $250,000 pack. Meanwhile, organic strawberries fetch 20-30% higher prices, but account for just 10% of total sales. Distribution networks must adapt to consumer demand spikes. Peak season shipments can triple daily volume, pushing logistics to the limit. Perfect packaging and precise distribution guarantee that berries arrive plump, pristine, and bursting with flavor. Global strawberry sales topped $17 billion in 2023, with North America accounting for $5 billion, Europe $4 billion, and Asia-Pacific $3 billion. In the U.S., California's Salinas and Watsonville Valleys contribute 85% of domestic berries, engaging 50,000 seasonal workers annually. As labor costs rise, companies invest in vertical farming. Places like Back and Bundle in Utah produce 50 kilo method annually under LED lights, albeit at higher production costs. 10 dollars a is 3 hours field. Ecuador and Mexico are top exporters, shipping 150,000 and 100,000 tons to the U.S. market. Yearly, Americans consume 2 kilos of strawberries per capita, mostly fresh. But frozen and jam markets are booming too, with frozen berries now driving 15% of total revenue. Consumer preferences shift toward local and sustainable, prompting retailers to source from farmers' markets or pick your own operations. The strawberry economy weaves farmers, laborers, technology, and global trade into one vibrant tapestry. Strawberries are more than tasty, they're nutritional powerhouses. A 150 gurn serving delivers 50 milligrams of vitamin C. 83% DV, 30 UG folate, 8% DV, and 3 germ fiber. They also provide potent antioxidants, anthocyanins and elagic acid, linked to reduced inflammation and improved heart health. A 2022 study found that daily strawberry consumption lowered LDL cholesterol by 5% in at-risk adults over 6 weeks. Yet, conventionally grown berries rank high on the dirty dozen list for pesticide residues. Organic strawberries cut chemical exposure by 90%, though they can cost 50% more. Innovations like effectors, biocontrol sprays using beneficial microbes, reduce pesticide use by 70% while maintaining yield. Meanwhile, scientists in Spain are exploring wild strawberry extract as a natural food preservative, harnessing its antimicrobial properties. For health enthusiasts, strawberries are a low-calorie, nutrient-dense snack, if sourced and consumed wisely. Strawberry production faces sustainability challenges. Water use of 500 to 600 millimeter per season, plastic mulch waste, and high labor demands. 
Yet, innovators are forging new paths. In California, growers like Driscoll's invest in drip irrigation and solar-powered pumps to cut water use by 30%. Plastic mulch is being replaced by biodegradable films. 70% of California's strawberries now grow on compostable row covers. Socially, farm workers, many of whom are migrants, often earn below minimum wage and face tough conditions. Programs like Fair Food Program and California's SB 657 improve wages, housing, and safety training for 50,000 seasonal workers. Meanwhile, agroecological growers in Mexico practice polyculture, interplanting strawberries with peppers and rosemary, reducing pests and increasing biodiversity by 40%. The future of strawberries depends on balancing yield, fairness, and ecology.